Welcome back to HammerJoys.net. Uh, today I'm having a look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 Mini. Here it is. Of course it's an Android device. Um, this one running 1.6. Uh, the power button here on the top lock. Let's go ahead and turn that on. I think that's about to boot up. Um, so it's a 600 megahertz processor, it's a 5 megapixel camera, it weighs only 88 grams, so it's one of the lightest Android phones I think you're going to find. Um, it is much smaller even than, if I bring in the wildfire that you will have probably have seen the video of before, look at the size difference there, look. very, very different. So, I mean, that's the first thing you notice about this phone, is just that it is so small. Um, it still feels, so I say it's 88 grams, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel uh, sort of light, cheap and tacky. It still feels well made. Um, the back, the only way I've seen to remove the back is literally to, let's see if it stays on yet, it literally is to pull it off. Space for the SIM card, the speaker, the camera with flash, and it comes with a 2 gig inbuilt micro SD card. Pop that back on. With a volume rocker on the side, a dedicated camera button. That's the power point at the bottom, there's the micro USB. Actually, that's what we charge. I'm not sure what that one is for. I've only had this a couple of days and I haven't really used it to be honest. I'm waiting for the unlock code to come through. Uh, first point of warning unlocking an Xperia is apparently a much more expensive job than unlocking most of the phones. Um, I'm paying £27 to unlock this, it was the cheapest I could find. Uh, this one's locked to 02. So let's have a look at. Uh, what we've got on the, on the screen. Now I've not had a, an Xperia device before. It comes looking, uh, yeah I've not got my SIM in there as I just said, it's not unlocked yet. It comes looking rather blue. Let's give it a second hopefully. There we go. So it loads up with your with your main screen. Now, I don't know how this will look on the video but that actually looks pretty uh, pretty crisp, pretty good looking. Um, the first thing, the first thing I've realised with this is you, when you add widgets, it's not to a screen, uh, onto the screen you've got here. You literally, it makes another screen. So, got a couple of widgets added in, and you scroll through them like so. Uh, that's a th three deep by four wide, or four wide by three deep. I suppose probably the right way around, and it pretty much fills the screen. That I think was a 4x4 four four, and it doesn't quite properly fit on. Same again, 4x3. Uh, this is quite a nice little. I presume it's Tony's top date because as I said it was from Friday. I haven't used it since then. I don't know how do I get it to update. Settings, nope. Nope. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it's nice. It, it, it combines everything. It's got Facebook. Uh, Twitter, I think your text messages fill in there as well. And it does it does scroll through quite nicely. It puts images on there for or in the background, should I say, for those that you have images of. Um, and yeah, it's generally quite a smooth, cool little little uh, app widget, I suppose I should say. Settings you just drag up on the screen or drag down, and then you can scroll through left to right. Like I said, the screen, I think it's pretty crisp actually. I look at the text underneath some of these things and it, it does look pretty good. Let's go into Facebook. There you can see for that. Again, I don't know how this is going to look on the video, unfortunately. Um, the Facebook 3.1, uh, 1.3.1, sorry. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's quite a nice little looking screen. I have to say, sort of, I feel better about this screen perhaps, 
perhaps than the uh, than the wildfire. Although obviously it's much smaller. So uh, your choice, I suppose. Right, let's have a quick look in the box then. This is second hand, <clears throat> unless anyone wants to send me lots of money, I have to do what I can to get hold of new devices. So yeah, second so it might be there might be different differences, but hopefully everything's here. There should be. So we've got the uh, the charger with the USB. A lot of devices seem to go this route. They don't give you a proper wall charger. They'll just give you something that lets you plug your USB in and then plug that into the phone. Um, what have we got here? Our earphone pieces. You would hope, with it being Sony, that the uh, that the headset's quite a good one. I've not had a chance to try it just yet. But also their uh, Sony earpieces. Ah, see, sorry, there we go. That's that's the connection on the bottom of the phone that would look a little bit odd. It's for the earphones. There we go. That's quite nice. There's a good solid connection in there. Um, so those are the earphones. Now there's a micro, I'll say they've given you a micro USB adapter. Oh, why not? That's interesting, I've not seen that in a device. Maybe it's a, well, like I say, I haven't had a Sony before. Maybe Sony always do these things. And also you get a spare back, a nice pink one. Tempting as it may be, I'll stick with the black for the moment. But uh, I like that, you know, it won't cost them next to nothing to put that in there. I think more uh, more providers should do that, and the usual warranty and, and safety instructions, etc., etc. So that's it. That's the uh, Sony X10 Mini. I managed to get this for 135. Obviously, then I've got the 27 pounds unlock. So uh, it's probably sort of you could almost say low to mid range. Um, I think I think you'd probably mark the street value around 170, 180. I think I was quite lucky to get it at such a price. But um, and I think generally it's going to appeal to uh, well to girls basically. It is quite small for me. It's too small. I don't like having something this small as a device now. Um, the screen pretty responsive, I would say. Um, and it all moves in and out pretty quick. I'll just give you a quick blast of if the you speaker. Have a girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rap patrol on the cat patrol. Foles that want to make sure my cask is closed. That's possibly one of the better speakers that um, I remember hearing for a little while. It's not in sort of the fact, just range, I suppose. It's got some pretty good bass. Um, it's not the loudest. I think probably the wildfire's a little bit louder, but... Um, Just quality-wise. Let's see, this is a single bass. See if he gets it. Not really. <laughs> Boom. Boom. It should be going, but that's not bad though. Still, the quality of that sound is uh, is pretty pretty good, to be honest, for a for a phone speaker. Um, yeah. So that's just a first look. I will, of course, be doing a review. Um, I would say at some point during the week, hopefully. So check back to hemadroids.net to see the full review. My name's Andy, hemadroids.net.